Hey, uh, guys, how's it going? Um, we have a box here today. This box that Godzilla is just our friend. He's just here to observe, okay? As long as uh, you guys are cool, he'll be cool. Um, I've been waiting for this for a while. I got this on Whatnot. Now, you guys know I don't go around buying from a whole bunch of different Whatnot sellers. It's usually Mustang Queen or Diecast Creepo. But there's a couple more that I really like, and I think they're awesome sellers. This came from, this came from my guy, Collectibles. My guy is, a, I believe it's a husband and wife team. Uh, they have some amazing things, some amazingly rare things, sometimes very, very rare things that aren't a dollar. Uh, sometimes they have things that are a dollar. <laughs> but uh, this time, I literally came onto their uh, web page. I was just looking through things on whatnot. Um, I was trying to pick up some things for friends and um, and for myself, of course. Come on, come on now. And there was something that came up right when I freaking swiped and it came right onto their page and they were just putting it up um, to be sold, auctioned off rather. And the price was right. And uh, I was the only bidder. I was so happy. At the same time, I was like, oh no, <laughs> this wasn't cheap. But this was uh, one of my birthday presents for myself. And um, I'm happy I pulled the trigger. And I'm happy there were no other bidders because this could have gone crazy. So let's open this. And let me show you exactly what it is. Whoop. Okay, sorry. I had to uh, get little Nazzilla out of the way. Uh, but... Uh, because we need room. This box isn't like, it's not too big, but um, I don't have a huge space here for filming. So, uh, up, there we go. I'm opening this from the bottom because the front has everybody's addresses on it. Ah, oh, son of a. Okay. Can't get away from that now. Oh boy. Um, you can kind of, kind of tell what kind of boxes those are, depending on what kind of collector you are. Um, spoilers. Kaido House. Uh, oh yeah, looks like we busted into the hornet's nest. Boys, we have one. And we have two. Um, before you go away, Yes, there is a chase here. You want to see it? <laughs> I do. I freaking want to see it. Oh my god. Um, okay. Uh, what's this here? Ah, let's see. Hey, there you go. So yeah, shout out to my guy Collectibles. Uh, not sponsored. This was not given to me at any kind of discount. In fact, they have no idea I'm making a video with this. But they're one of the sellers that I like and uh, appreciate. They sell the right way. They're appreciative of their of their buyers, uh, big or small. They don't uh, discriminate if you just bought two things for a dollar or if you bought something for $300. They'll say thank you. <laughs> That's all it takes. So yeah, thank you, uh, my guy collectibles. You guys are just the most awesome. Uh, good people out there, and uh, I do not appreciate the these nuts here. Hey, there you go. I did ask for a sticker. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this onto my um, uh, toolbox for customizing Hot Wheels, and uh, that's it. Cool. Let me uh, clean up this mess, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that freaking Hornet Chase. Oh my god, I'm excited. Let's do this. All right, guys, all clean. <laughs> uh, that was a fun 15 minutes of handling my guy's nuts. Um, I had, I'm sorry, I had to go with that. Had to go with that joke. Um, all right, I'm, I'm very excited because lately I've been, uh, I've somehow been getting lucky with uh, Kaido House chases on um, 
uh, whatnot. <laughs> I've gotten uh, two raw chases from Kylo House, different ones from Mustang Queen on whatnot. And uh, those I won from uh, a case break. So I have, um, uh, I'll bring those out in the end, guys. So stick around if you want to see a bunch of uh, Kaido House chases. I'll uh, bring them out and show them to you and we'll compare it to this bad boy. Uh, I also have the previous chase, the all white one of this same model, uh, not the Hornet, obviously. Uh, but anyway, stick around. Stick around and find out. Uh, so the Hornet is actually really cool. Um, I believe initially the Hornet was used, Hornet livery was used on a remote control car, a little like Baja type of style uh, car, and it had the same style, style thing. Other than that, I don't know much about what, what the deal is with the Hornet. <laughs> I don't know if it was a race team. Uh, I didn't look into it. All I know is I love this logo. I love this freaking Hornet. I love the livery on here. I love the yellow, orange, red, whatever, uh, Toyota style, um, you know, uh, livery, uh, p uh, color patterns. And, uh, yeah, this is, again, I've already reviewed this before. This is a collaboration between, um, Kaido House, <laughs> Mini GT, and Tamiya, and uh, and I guess the Hornet. So I assume Tamiya uh, did RC cars, and they wanted to use the Hornet livery, so all three companies came together. Uh, I think that's. I think there's not much more to it. Ooh, that's the first time I noticed that the face and the head is pink. Yeah, I didn't know that. Now we all know. There you go. So TSM model, model, Kaido House, Nissan, all of the appropriate um, licensing has been acquired. There you go. Anytime, baby. So this is the regular. Come on, I'm not gonna bust out the chase right from right from the front. So this is usually the best way to open these is just flip it upside down. Don't jiggle it too much. Support the bottom here. Flip it again. Lift that up. And uh, you are safe now to pick it up. So, as you can see, this is a beautiful, already beautiful casting. Beautiful car. Um, everything on this is amazing. I've been collecting Kaido House. Uh, my regular viewers know, but there's always uh, a first time for somebody, like uh, Stan Lee said. Uh, it's the first comic book for somebody, so, you know, it's okay to repeat yourself. In fact, it's probably a good thing. So, um, any <laughs> Uh This is an amazing car. Uh, I collect Kaido House. I've been collecting Kaido House since uh, June and I started. Those of you that don't know, June and I was a one of the designers for Hot Wheels for Mattel. He designed a whole line of uh, beautiful Hot Wheels cars, such as the 510, Datsun 510, Datsun 510 Wagon. He did a couple of Mustangs, I believe. He did a C10 truck. Uh, he did a bunch. Uh, just, uh, I guess, Google that if you want to know more. But Jun Mai is one of my favorite designers. He's one of my favorite artists. Um, and uh, now with Kaido House, he's uh, dominating this. Uh, he's actually the reason why a lot of people are kind of leaving Hot Wheels collecting and moving to collector grade collecting. Because collector grade is what this is. It's highly detailed, um, beautifully designed uh, art pieces. Um, and they are more than a dollar. <laughs> These on average go for about 20 bucks and up. Uh, you can get lucky and get it for a little bit cheaper. But um, I'm not... Well, well, we'll talk about the chase and how much those go for. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, collector grade usually s starts at 15 and that, you know, then it goes up from there depending on the company, depending on the detail, depending on the designer. So, uh, there you go. This is the bottom, 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Fantastic uh, 
ionized whatever metal iodized <laughs> i love the white body kit the carbon fiber carbon fiber stuff happening here uh, there's your anytime baby thing shizuka love the uh, skyline lettering gtr3 everything is very legible everything is very beautiful uh let's see you have your yellow roll cage again i've uh reviewed this by itself before so this is kind of repeating myself if you're new <laughs> it's fine it's new to you like i said like stan lee said it's always somebody's first issue so there you go but yeah just look how freaking beautiful this thing is i love these things man so yeah anyway um i'm actually gonna have some really cool uh stuff coming from ignition model 118 scale made by june am I. very expensive and very exclusive i got it for a good price it's gonna be coming soon uh wait till you guys see that but uh, anyway, a lot of cool stuff coming to this channel, so stick around. Uh, let's open this little... Oh, God. I highly dislike that it's difficult to open. There it goes. I know some of you have already uh, suggested to me how to open this, to use, like, skinnier blades and stuff. I, I have stuff to do that with. I'm just lazy. If you're careful, you can open it with anything you want, so... The detail inside is straight up pocket watch. <laughs> Look at all that. The colors, the different metals, different textures. Fantastic. All right, let's uh, let's let's get to this chase because that's what everyone wants to see. Let's do this. Okay, guys. Uh, the moment of truth. Uh, let's open this up. And uh, like I told you guys before, don't get too carried away when you're opening these. Take it easy. Take your time. Cool. I have noticed a lot of people are using like uh, gloves to handle these things and um, I agree that's probably a good thing to do but um, I have my little uh, glasses cloth I washed my hands they're not too oily just show it to us Nas! <laughs> this is what you would see if you flip this open over like this and discovered it was a chase. It is raw, bare metal with clear coat sprayed over it. How cool is that? Oh yeah. Before I take it out, let's compare it in package of what it would look like if it wasn't a chase. All right, so there you go. Gotta give you the full experience, you know guys? This is a video. It's meant to be watched and enjoyed like a show. We're not here to just do a quick little two minute thing. We do those videos as well, but for special stuff like this, I take my freaking time. You got to compare this. You got to look at it. You got to enjoy this. Uh, now, if you're new to this, there's no way of telling on the box what's the chase. Like it doesn't say super treasure hunt on there. There's no little flame on the box. Um, the only way to know is if you're uh, if you buy a whole case, they place them into the corners. Uh, I believe the upper right or the lower left, and uh, that's where the chases are. Um, that's something that probably needs to be changed because I feel like I don't know if that's fair. I've heard other YouTubers talk about that topic, and I kind of agree with that. Uh, I don't think anyone needs to know where the chase is. I think they need to put a chase in each case. That's fine but don't reveal where it goes. I feel like that's how it should be. So, um, for various reasons. <laughs> As you can see, the roof here is black. Uh, that's about all you can kind of tell at this point. So uh, let's put this guy away and uh, have a look at the beautiful, beautiful chase. All right, there we go. Again, don't brush things. It's all gonna come out. Oh, this one's already a little bit, a little bit funky. Funky Medina. Ugh. All right. 
Oh man, that is so cool. Guys, I did not sneak a peek at this before I opened the box. Um, this is just <sighs> amazing. I believe there's a little bit of a hair stuck in the under the clear cup there. That's fine with me, because that's how it came from the factory, and that's what makes this chase unique. That's the one with the pube in it. <laughs> now, actually, I'm not sure what that is. I, oh, no, it's not a pube. It's uh, That's how the metal is under there, if you look closely. Um, yeah, it's like a little imperfection in the metal, so that's what you see. So it is what it is. That's kind of cool. So as you can see, uh, they left the, the black carbon fiber as is. Because, yeah, those are separate pieces that they attach in uh, manufacturing. Oh, that is so cool, man. I feel like a, the GTR needs to be in that gray or silver color or bare metal. <laughs> That's so cool. There's the back. What is that little thing there? I know I'm like looking at everything because it's bare metal. <laughs> like you can see everything. Uh, my guy, what is that? What is that, my guy? What is that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, wow. I don't think it matters for me to open that hood. You guys kind of know what's going on. Okay, let me uh, let me get the other one out again. <laughs> so we can kind of compare and see if there's what's uh, the difference, I guess. Okay, so obviously it's all black. It's like Cube Tuesday, what's happening here? Okay. I'm trying to be careful here because both are freaking treasures for me. Guys, I I'm a collector, okay? I'm not like... I resell sometimes or do auctions, uh, but that's all for charity. It's for Ukraine. It's uh, not for personal gain or profit at all. In fact, I end up losing money when I do those things. Because I also buy things to sell or whatever, so um, it's one of those things. Uh, I collect. I love this stuff. Um, you know, I have Hot Wheels. I have other brands. I have collector grade. Uh, I don't discriminate. I uh, collect what I like. Um, it doesn't matter to me if it was made by whatever. Uh, sometimes I'm not even that big of a stickler on licensing because... Licensing is something that big companies need to adhere to. Uh, if they don't, uh, they need to. Uh, that's their business, not mine. You know, as a collector, I'm here and I'm like, hey, I have some monies. Do you have some things that are cool that I want? So if they say yes, like, you know, what do you want from me? I'm like, here you go. Here's some monies. Give me. <laughs> So people need to chill to F out with uh, all of that either gatekeeping of what you can collect or shouldn't collect or what you should frown upon. Uh, yeah, it's all weird. Some things are gray area. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a collector, guys. I'm a collector. I'm not a lawyer, okay? So let's leave it, let's leave it at that. Um, so as a collector, uh, well... Obviously, Kaida House and Mini GT has all the licensing, so they're very on point with that, which is appreciated. So there you go, man. Um, there's your there's your chase and there's your uh, regular <laughs> regular release, uh, rather. Really cool. Both are fantastic cars, fantastic model. But you you gotta you gotta admit. By the way, no, I don't see like any other differences other than the fact that uh, one's completely <laughs> raw. Uh, you know, it is cool though because I guess the the decal they use for the carbon fiber, it's a little see-through. 
so this one's over black and this mesh is over bare metal so the effect is totally different like it's still there you can see the mesh is still there but it's uh it's over gray over silver not over black so it definitely looks completely not completely but noticeably different very cool so yeah all right so you guys ready to uh have a look see at some of my other chases i think i think we're good on uh, the review of this um i'm not going to tell you how much i paid for this i paid uh too much <laughs> uh no i actually it was a good deal because um uh, my guy was uh selling both of these for that price so uh technically i got like that for free uh, but anyway uh enough said there um if you really really want something that one thing and you have that money at the time i recommend doing it i've learned over my collecting career that sometimes it's not fear of missing out but in a way it is but if you really want it dude it's gonna be on your head it's gonna be in your mind you're gonna be like oh man i should have gotten it and then you might not be able to find it, especially if it's a limited edition. Then it might uh, go up in price. You know, you, you never know, man. And uh, I've been there a bunch of times. So uh, so here's another chase I have. This is the R33. Let me show you the bottom here so we can read the 1994 Nissan Skyline GTR R33. So this one's from the uh, the dark blue as you can tell by the mirrors, that was the color of it. And the chase is raw, bare metal. Again, um, fantastic. Fantastic casting. Junimai always blows it out of the water. Again, I don't collect just Kaido House. You know, I collect Mini GT in a 64. Um, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, freaking all sorts of crap. <laughs> different uh companies different makers uh if it's cool and i like it it's in my collection man that's how i roll actually let me get the blue one out for you guys here's the non-chase version of that beauty which again like i said before you <laughs> You don't really need the chase. Yeah, that's awesome to get the chase. And again, I bought this one, but these two, uh, sorry, that one, and uh, I'll show you the other one. Uh, I got in case breaks. I paid, I think, 15 bucks, like less than a normal regular one would be, which would be like 20, 25. So I got lucky on those case breaks. Uh, breaks. So. Uh, you know, I'm not Mr. Made of Money over here, <laughs> so I just uh, got lucky a few times, and I have amazing friends, and uh, we trade, we help each other out, we give each other deals, um, we do what we can, because that's what friends are for, time after time, I don't think that's the lyrics, but, so yeah, uh, here's your comparison of this chase. And the regular. Fantastic, right? So yeah, guys, if you're uh, still collecting Hot Wheels, that's cool. Uh, but I'm here to uh, recommend that you uh, widen your interests, you know? don't You don't need to be a brand loyalist, you know what I mean? Um, get out there, look at what you like, look at what's cool to you. Uh, to me, Kaido House is awesome. To me, Mini GT is awesome. To me, oh yeah, Ignition Model. I love that. Inno 64, uh, Street Warrior, um, Time Micro. All amazing. All right, so here's the other chase. So see this thing? It's not uh, bare metal. And I don't have the uh, uh, non-chase version of this, but... Basically, the non-chase version is identical to this completely. Like, everything's the same, except the wheels. The wheels on this, 
see they're gold so the little tubes are gold that's what makes this one a chase let me uh sorry it's white we need to uh there you go i really want to show you the the pearl on this see that that is beautiful man so yeah this would be the chase of the kaido house racing top rank nissan right here so as you can see that would be the raw chase of it and then there's another version of the chase which is just this it's still painted only has gold wheels on it so i'm not sure why june and Mai did that i guess they were trying to try different things uh, but those of you that don't know if you find one of these white ones in this type of livery look at the wheels make sure they're uh gold so that would be you know like there's the chrome wheels on that this is just my other version i have that's not chase this was the like a green there's a little bit of a color shift on it it goes like a little bit to blue here and there but it's mostly different shades of green on this bad boy oh actually now we need to brighten this up <laughs> all right there we go yeah so non-chase but i like this one because it's all one color so you know because like all this really pops out differentiates i guess the black one's all color but then again they're carbon fiber there so that's different this one's just shows off the you know the casting the mold all the things are the same color so it's very nice So yeah, again, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be polishing all these with this cloth, uh, guys. Please remember this. I'm recommending uh, cloths like this. There's no reason for brands, but um, if you wear eyeglasses or you don't wear eyeglasses, this is meant for eyeglasses. So it's a kind of cloth that won't scratch your. Um, there you go. This one's magic fiber, or whatever. Uh, so you know you can uh, use this to clean up all the stupid uh fingernails not fingernails <laughs> fingerprints off of your uh die cast after you've uh fondled it and this is why a lot of guys you watch on youtube wear gloves for stuff like this because they ah geez this is why you also have a felt table so you don't damage things when you drop them um and you push these as far away from things dropping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, use eyeglasses, cloths, eye lens or photo lens cleaners for your die cast because uh, it won't scratch it up. So last and uh, not least is the original. This is a uh, number one uh, that Jun and I released with Kaido House. He released this one and the purple version of it. And uh, there was a chase for these as well in bare metal. I don't have either of those chases, but I have a chase of this casting for see the in, see the interior color and the front lip right here. So that was the color of the car. So that's how you know which chase that was by the color inside and on the front lip. So. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, just the OG original number one, you know, in count. I love the color. I love just like the katakana, the his zero uh, thing. His name's on the window, June and I. See here it says, it just says Kaiser House. Here it says June and I. So, you know, uh, if you're going to start collecting uh, Kaido House and, uh, you know, Datsuns or whatever from June and I, I would recommend you uh, go and get yourself the number ones, this uh, little green color, and um, it's like a green-gray, and the purple one, because they're number ones, and as a collector, that's probably something you want to have. Alright, so there you go. And there's the original uh, Chase, bare, raw, whatever, just beautiful. I love these designs, man, and I, I just like 510s in general, so to me, uh, June and my stuff and collaboration with Mini GT is fantastic. 
So yeah, I love this. Just uh, it goes to show you that it's more of an art than straight up going for realism with cars because they're not exactly true 164, kind of like Hot Wheels, which makes sense with Juno Mai being a designer of Hot Wheels uh, in the past. <sighs> so yeah, it's like a little bit bigger. Uh, but all the other Mini GT as a company, they're true 164 scale, so uh, the Kaido House stuff is not, but it is 164, just a little bit bigger for art's sake, hence why there's no molded exhaust pipes or anything like that. This is true collector grade stuff, you know, so there you go, guys. Welcome to collector grade if you're new. Um, look into stuff like this. Uh, I recommend not collecting just Hot Wheels, man. I recommend uh, broadening your horizons, looking around at what else is out there, you know? Um, yeah, again, collect what you like, you know? And, uh, like, I love this stuff. I can sit here for, for hours just kind of... That's why this video is so long, because I'm enjoying just looking at these. Like, as an adult, I don't really know, like, how to play with these. You don't really want to play with these freaking, you know, <laughs> expensive cars. Uh, oh yeah, on average, you could look this up on eBay, you know, if you want to find out the prices of Kaido House chases. They're roughly between 100 and 150 bucks uh, for a chase, a bare metal chase, depending on which model, you know, if it's uh, R33, R34, or, uh, you know, the wagon, or if it's the, the white chase right here, not bare metal. So there's your four chases right there. Should have just done that. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Um, I'm proud of this. I, I love my collection, you know, to be honest with you. Um, when I collected nothing but Hot Wheels a few years back, when I, I actually kind of stopped a few years back, uh, when I was like, dude, I, I need to make my collection more special. I need to have more special stuff in it, stuff that I want to look at, stuff that brings me joy. So minimalism really uh, opened my eyes to collecting what I like. Remember, minimalism isn't getting rid of everything you have and living on one chair with like a, a bun and one fork. Minimalism is not having things in your life that don't bring you joy. Minimalism is about not accumulating crap. Minimalism is not about having um, 20 totes in your basement full of Hot Wheels that you're never going to see. Why do you have them there? Either sell them or figure something out. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with holding things on for investment for the future. But if you're just hoarding stuff and you're like, I just like those, but you're not displaying it. You don't even know what's in there. You don't remember what's in there. Uh, you know, I've kind of I've kind of been in that situation, you know, not to an extreme, you know, degree, but um, I've been there. I understand it. That's why I can talk about it. I'm not talking out of my uh, patootie here. You know what I mean? So this makes me a lot happier. I still have some Hot Wheels. I have, like I said, other brands and I love this. And um, yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. I didn't mean to like go on on the end here, but this is the end. Like you already saw the reviews, like who cares how long, how much longer it goes from there. You know what I mean? So I like I usually like to take my time in the end and uh, kind of voice out a little bit and nerd out on the things I just talked about. So hopefully uh, that made sense to you guys. My point is get out there, collect what you like. You know, don't collect what everyone's hyped about just because, for example, don't get mad at me, like the Gold Nugget Honda Civic hatchback. <laughs> Do you need 20 of those? Unless you're saving them to sell them. Uh, why do you even need one? Do you like Honda Civic? If yes, hell yeah, bro. But there's so many people that just get hyped up because there's a bunch of, like, YouTubers going crazy about, like, oh, Gold Nugget, Gold Nugget, Gold Nugget, shut up, man, already enough, you know? Like, okay, you got your one Gold Nugget in your collection, congratulations, enjoy it, talk about it, that's great. But, uh, you know, watching guys go to stores and finding, like, 10 or 5 of super treasure hunts and like gloating over it you know saying i look at me look at me uh, i'm not down with that man like that's part of the things that got me away from collecting um hot wheels <sighs> is the hunting for them it's the the new collector slash scalper slash hoarder slash reseller 
market that was uh, that exploded, which is fine. I, I salute anyone that makes money reselling stuff like that. I salute anyone that resells or whatever, man, go get it. What I'm talking about here is I don't want to be there. I don't want to be in that store with a whole bunch of people um, either waiting for the U-boat to come out. You know what I mean? To, to get a bunch of Hot Wheels. <sighs> and like seeing that like this is like taking away from kids, man. Like kids that go into stores that do like Hot Wheels also, um, you know, like they can't they can't find the super treasure hunt. Like, that's, that's almost like a unicorn thing for an actual kid to go to a store, you know, and find a super treasure hunt. That's unheard of, dude. Good luck. But it does happen. Stay tuned till the end of this video after I'm done to watch a little clip of my friend Cameron uh, of Monkey Shine Lab. He went to a Target the other day and he just happened to be there when uh, they put out a case. And there was a super in it. And there was a, a young boy with his father. Actually, I think both his sons and the father were there for the drop. And my man Cameron, <laughs> bless his soul, man, or heart. I think he's soulless and heartless. So bless, bless Cameron's beard. <laughs> I love you, Cameron. You know I'm joking. Uh, he's one of the sweetest dudes out there. Check out uh, Monkey Shine Lab. But, um... He filmed them um, get those things, and he interviewed them a little bit. So if you guys want to see, you know, something that you probably never, ever see in, with your own eyes, especially in person in a store, you want to see an actual kid find a freaking super treasure hunt and be happy with it? Stay tuned till the end of this or go to Monkey Shine Lab and uh, watch it on his channel. Either one is fine with me. Uh, I just asked him uh, for the footage because I feel like more people need to see it. So, uh, you know, uh, definitely go to his channel either way. Check out his videos. Awesome guy. Awesome rants. Awesome hunts. Uh, my man collects comics. Uh, he was a, a music guy uh he he's a lot of things bro <laughs> so yeah all right guys obviously you're probably sensing that we're coming to the end here um i would like to thank everyone uh, I, I even got to freaking wipe these off <laughs> i don't have to do nothing after this video um so yeah uh first of all thank you for being here to watch uh me unbox and review this beautiful chase new addition to my collection not for sale if you didn't freaking catch that <laughs> this is an addition to my collection not selling it unless i need a kidney or someone in my family needs money for something and i don't have that money none of this is getting sold so um yeah um thank you for watching this review guys i hope you enjoyed all of this i hope you enjoyed the stories I hope you agree with me. If you have, please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about any of this stuff or anything I covered here today. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned uh, again to watch a, a, a clip of someone being happy from finding a super treasure hunt who's not uh, a man of my age in his 40s and up. Some guys get a little butthurt when I mention old guys are getting all the Hot Wheels. Dudes my age <laughs> freaking getting things uh, that I think uh, kids should be getting. So, um, yeah. Uh, love you guys. Uh, love all of you collectors. Uh, enjoy your hobby. Help each other out. Trade with each other. Help each other find the things that your friends want. Don't be greedy, man. If you're a reseller, that's resell, man. Those of you who are collectors and you're just trying to get an extra 20 bucks off of someone because you want to freaking think you're tough or whatever, come on, man. Stop. Stop it. Anyway, all you true collectors, Excelsior, um, love you guys. Keep collecting what you like. Don't follow the trends and hypes. Collect what you want, what you are into. Collect that stuff. All right, guys. I'm out. All right. Enjoy the the little clip at the end here peace over and out okay we're here in target and somebody has found something very special first what's your name zayden zayden what's your last name 
You've got a heck of a name. I thought a Cameron Bleats was a difficult name. That's an awesome name. Show me what you got, man. Found the, the 18 Camaro SS today. <sighs> Super treasure hunt. I walked up just as he was p picking it off the peg. They were restocking the pegs. And uh, I I was really super happy to be here for it. Yeah. What else did you pick up? I got the Mighty K, uh, the Volkswagen, another Porsche. Nice. Nice. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name's Dylan. Dylan McGann. Dylan, my name's Cameron. It's it's really good to meet Pleasure, you. Man. <laughs> it's good to meet another collector. Most stuff. And um, I found this treasure hunt, and I will be sending this to Hot Wheels for Ukraine. Uh, to, you know, make some kids happy over there who've gotten everything taken away. So, you enjoy that super and keep hunting. It was good to meet you all. Thank you very much. And that, that is why I still have an interest. Really cool. A wonderful thing to see. Somebody very young scoring the treasure hunt instead of a dirty old man like me. It's gotta make you feel really good. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with you. <laughs>